Welcome back to another product review, and today we're going to take a look at the Space 1999 Moonbase Alpha Technical Operations Manual. Awesome, very old show. I love it. It's a classic, just like UFO. And as always, I want to go through the flip through. But before I start, hi, my name is JD and I do product reviews like these. I do animation reviews. I do animation lectures. I do a bunch of stuff on the channel. This is the pitch at the very beginning. So check it out. Browse around if you like it, subscribe. And if you don't like it, you don't have to. Maybe at the very end. But I wanted to throw that out there. That's what the channel is about. And today we're going to take a look at this fantastic book. That's your spine. Here's the back. Eco. All right. As we open this here, as always here, ooh, already nice. <laughs> it's already nice, it's just kind of textury stuff, but I absolutely love the design. I'm massively into tech stuff with this type of typeface in orange. So when you see this, already this is totally my jam. Of course, the forward here, classic older actors, look at this. That is just, that's, that's my jam. What can I say? That's absolutely my jam. The construction of Moonbase Alpha, it really goes into everything, into massive detail here. External schematics. Look at that, if you ever needed something nerdy. Even the uh, crater here. Moon Orbital Atlas, fantastic. Oh, look at this, that, that should just be a poster for me. Main mission, you can see here, classic outfits. I know, it's, a, it's an older show. It's definitely something you have to get used to. It's more on the slower side in terms of pacing, but it's also very moody, sometimes downright creepy. This is cool though. I love this though. Look at that. Command center, that layout. I love that they have that replicated here. I mean, <laughs> it is of its time, design-wise. Travel tube network, awesome. Also, the music is absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, there are a ton of details on every page it really goes i mean it, you know it's not really your typical art of book this is this is your technical manual so it's going to go into a bunch of stuff medical center look at that bio watches that's awesome technical and science laboratories yes can't wait until you see the eagles hazardous materials lab actually barely remember that one i do have somewhere the dvds or the blu-ray i just got the set gotta check that out nuclear generating areas i love designs like these that is just also really fun to animate and replicate this because this doesn't seem you know super complex in terms of colors or uh, modeling hydroponics laboratories yeah that's like uh star trek voyager reminds me here crew quarters too many lights all those shows i need to sleep in a very dark room so there's crew quarters Whenever you see those in movies, it, there's always some light somewhere. Very cool though. Look how comfortable that is. You almost slide down. Primary solarium, of course, yeah, all that type of stuff. I'm just gonna say a rec room. Recreation center as well. <gasps> Here we go. Eagle hangers. The eagles are right there. Also cool shirt, I like that one. Am I? I am. Hangar one, look at that. These are so cool. Look at these guys. Oh. Gotta check out if Eagle Moss has those. Eagle launch pads. That's a cool suit too. Boarding tubes and customs. Yes, of course. Catacombs and mining areas. It really has everything. Weapons, oh, that jacket. I know, I would probably never wear it out <laughs> in public, but it's very cool. Gravity towers, main computer, nerd. Oh, oh, look, I mean, come on. That has to be the poster with the eagle there. Oh, I have to Google and check it out. Look at the waste, disposal areas. Look at that. Subsurface storage, interesting. The breakaway events, yep. That is what the show is about. Actually, that should be the poster. Look at this. The Eagle Transporter. This is probably why I bought it, to be honest. That, to this day, remains one of my favorite ship designs. Because it was always kind of functional. It looked kind of NASA-ish. Kind of worked. I don't know. And also the name Eagle. It's the command module. 
love this. This for me is worth the price of this book. Just anything about the eagle. Actually, we used to uh, build these in Lego as kids, my brother and I. Obviously, they were not, <laughs> they were not as good as this here. But you know, they had the little, little, little sections in there to walk through and it's very 2001 here. Rescue Paw, Laser Eagles, of course. I actually got an Eagle Moss um, Eagle, but that's a, a transport one, which has the orange details to it because, you know, I like orange. That's cool. Cool suits. There you go. Look at that. Supplementary craft. Support vehicles. I believe, uh, not this one. Where's, I don't know, what if it's even in there? <gasps> what if it's in there? Space Dock. These are super cute. I know, I'm looking at like a space machinery and I say it's cute, but it is, it's cute design. Module design here, moon buggy, yes, yes. You know, if you watch them now, you know, the, the standards of visual effects have changed. There's a, there's a lot that's different, but I still recommend checking out the show. This is cool, yes. If you want to remodel these, get your reference there. Classic, classic. Yes, that one's cool too. Moonhopper Pilot Craft. Look at this. This has those little details and colors. It's like the show was made for me. Mark Nighthawk. Look at that one. Even again here. It's like basically if I will create, if someone somewhere said, if I will create a technical manual, <laughs> JD would like, what would I do? It would be exactly this. Come on. Meta Probe. There's so much in this book. This is so cool. Swift, that one's awesome. That one, Eagle Moss had it. I will get it. Very cool design. Because they all fit within the same design language. You know, they're not overly different. So all, to me, always that world always made sense in terms of just design, mostly in design. I think I was too young. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was fairly young watching these. I don't know if every episode always made sense. Voyager 1. Veger, look at that one. That's so cool on top of it, come on. Interiors, that. Oh yes, I do remember that. Again, the model work, of course, of its time. Talent Interceptor, always a bit, uh, you watch it now and you're like, really? But I would watch it just in terms of story, storyline. So not every episode is great, but there's just a, a cool, cool feel to it. Uniforms and equipments, and that was the second reason why. This is almost like Star Trek the motion picture, to be honest. But these are great, clearly, as I'm wearing this. But these are cool, too. Definitely of its time. Oh, yes. I love stuff like that. If you could see my... I have a box full of patches from a bunch of different movies and designs, lots of Star Trek stuff and Alien. And uh, I got to find a way. Awesome. Awesome way to uh, display these because now they're just in the box which is never good lots of pins from uh, ilm like show pins stuff like that they're somewhere lost it also reminds me of star trek or spock looks into that's cool love that type of stuff actually i got a typeface book science fiction movie typeface book which is also very cool you want to take a look at it as well it's really neat though i love this the, the more si no, okay this is definitely on the simpler design uh side here but i don't know i love that all that retro stuff this actually reminds me more of them was it the, was it a super scope the nintendo one alpha log course it's awesome too basically everything's awesome come on handheld sensor equipment current command roster all right so now we got the cast here well then i'm going to the actor stuff but these are the characters in the show i mean i would say a few people know Lando out here has been a bunch of stuff not sure if you remember the other cast members alien technology yes look at that i know so this is where it gets like okay okay what kind of show is this but it had some cool stuff I would still watch it. I'm going to rewatch it. Now, I've never seen it in English. I know it's kind of a blasphemy thing, but I grew up with these in German. UFO and Space 1999, all that stuff. Even like the old Star Trek. I think the Star Trek classic, even the movies up until Next Generation. Next Generation was also for me in German, but then I switched to English and then the movies for sure in English. And then Voyager, eh, mostly in English, also been in German. 
but anything after that i watch in english and that is the end here definitely check out garyanderson.com got a bunch of stuff there again here's the back here's the front and there you have it. That's a lot. It's a lot to cover. Again, it's not a kind of a fluffy art of book. It is a technical operations manual. Very cool. It's absolutely my jam. I don't know if it's your jam because it's old jam, <laughs> but it's very cool. Come on. I had to nerd out. I actually have two of these, but will I wear them in public? Probably. I might, I might wear them today, but that's it. Hope that was cool. Uh, check out the website. I'll put the link in the description where you can order that book as well. And there's a bunch of other stuff from Gary Anderson, like just lots of shows and classic older shows, other shows that are really cool. More book reviews will come. I got a bunch of stuff. And if you're interested in nerdy things, stuff like that. Illustrated Handbook, there's a bunch of nerdy stuff in there. I mean, yes, 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 yes. So there's a lot more coming. Thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in my next upload.